Hi friends, welcome to my channel today. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today I have um, a haul video for you guys that I'd like to share with you. Um, I have several books um, that I have purchased. Uh, a lot of them are from Amazon Japan that I was waiting on. Some of them are from just regular Amazon. And then I also um, have some supplies that I got for limited time deals and like limited lightning deals and specials on Amazon as well. So yeah, um, we will just get started. And the first book I have here is the Eerie Postcard book. Uh, I had this one in my cart for a while and I finally was able to get it. This is awesome. It ha has all different pictures. So there's no duplicates and you can technically use your markers if you're not using them as a postcard uh, so that um, it's nice easy coloring and you can use whatever media you want really. I am so happy to have this book. I want to use my big intensity ultra fines in this book. It'd be so much fun. So yeah, this is the Eerie Postcard Book, or the Airy Postcard Book. The next one I have here is this postcard book by Mickey Taki, I think is how it's said, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, she does the um, Colors Make You Happy books, and this uh, is based off of fairy tales, I believe. So this one actually has the colored image and then the image that you can color that Wizard of Oz one. Very cute. Alice in Wonderland. We have like kind of like a Tinkerbell. So yeah, we have some really fun ones in here. I do want to get myself um, a small photo book to put all my postcards in um, that I color or put them in for the books. Next book I have here is Space Doodles. This is by Colored Caramel. Um, I will be doing another video of the new Colored Caramel books as a separate video, but I am including them in the haul as well. In this book, we have lots of cute kawaii um, images. They're known for their kawaii, and they have a black background, so that makes it nice for coloring and all to do with space. Very doodly. Very cute. So many fun, bright colors come to my mind when I look through that book. The next one I have here is the Cute Spring Gnomes by Colored Carmel. I'm really excited about this one. I love gnomes. I think they're just wonderful. And I think this is an adorable book. I like the way they do their gnomes. I think they're just fun and cute. And... Um, this month in March, I had the theme gnome for Enchanting Year of Color. I'm hoping maybe I can get one of these done before the end of the month is out. If not, I will color gnomes anytime because I love gnomes. Very cute book. Next book is kind of a different book. It's unusually sized. Uh, it's Coloring with Your Octopus by Brian, I think it's Kiss. Kessinger or Kess Kessiner? Kess Kiss uh, sorry, I can't, can't say that right. Um, this is a voiceover, by the way. Um, these are um, uh, his illustrations, and you can tell that they've been done with ink, uh, with the black ink line work, uh, ink art. There's many ways they call it. They're not single sided. But I um, saw this on a few channels and I thought this would be interesting to color and it would be an interesting find in my collection. Next book, of course, I had to get the 50 Easter and Spring Fairy Houses by Camellia Angel Kova. There are mm, tons of flips out there uh, with this book. I'm just giving you a glimpse in this book just to give you an idea. Um, it's got these little fairy houses or these little houses for springtime and Easter. There's a shamrock one or a lamb on that one. Very cute. Very adorable. 
another really fun, cute one by Camellia Angel Culva. The next book I'm going to share with you is Enchanted Beauty Coloring Book by Emily Chawa. Um, I picked up this one because I liked the girl in the front. And as I uh, flipped through this, um, when I looked at it, I wasn't too impressed. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I was hoping for more of like the girl in the front and it's not exactly what I was thinking. So I'll color in it and give it a shot. Bless me guys. <laughs> and we'll see how it goes. So that was Enchanted Beauty. Next one I have here is Kawaii Chibi Cuteness Overload. I was told by the um, Colorful Dreamer about this book. And it's just a cute chibi book. The eyes look do, a look do look a little different just because they don't have the black in it yet. But I do think that they will color up very nicely. Love the panda one. So I love pandas. But yeah, at first I was like, oh, I'm not so sure. But then when I looked at it a little more detailed, I was like, okay, yeah, I can get into this. So, of course, a chibi book. Next one I have is this one, Brightness, A Woman of Flowers Collection. Th number three, it's number three. I think there's two other ones. I don't have the other ones, but I just got this one. It's by Grazia Salvo. It's a grayscale book. Um, I only have a couple books by Grazia. Um, they're stunning images, and I do want to do more portrait coloring because I do love coloring people. And this book's images called out to me, so that is why I chose this one. Very beautiful book. The next one I have here is a new one by Demita Victoria. It's called Whimsical Fairies. Uh, right away, the cover is absolutely adorable. And um, we have the little fairies throughout this book. I think it has duplicates in this book, if I remember right. Just a very cute um, fairy book, if you like fairies. It's a little grayscale-y, but not very much. It's more line art. So there's that one. I did pick up this one. Uh, Colorful Dreamer told me about this one as well. Cute animal coloring book. And um, this one, I do think it is a little bit AI. Uh, just by looking at it, um, I think that it is pretty cute, actually, with all the different animals doing different things. And they have kind of like a grayscale effect to them. Some of them are more simple than others. So I will give it a shot. I had gotten another one, but I'm sending it back. This one is Demita Victoria Classic Chibi. And this is, of course, Chibi in Demita's um, style. You guys know I love Chibi. So every time she puts out a chibi one, I need to get it. <laughs> or the company puts out a chibi one, I guess I should say. Very um, Victorian looking as well. Next one I have here is Sherry Baldy, My Besties Adorable Darling Gnomes Coloring Book by Sherry Baldy. I got this one because of the gnome theme. And I'm just barely, like, getting a chance to, like, do anything with these books. Because I've been so busy and I've had a really rough week. And I'm hoping I can get one of these little guys done or little girls done this month before the gnome theme is over. Speaking of gnomes, we've got Gnome Sweet Gnome by Teresa Goodrich. This has been everywhere on YouTube. It is absolutely adorable. As soon as I knew that she was coming out with this book, I didn't even need a flip. I knew that I wanted this book. And I know she has a Christmas one in the works. 
So I will be getting that one, I know for a fact, this Christmas season. Uh, I got the new one by Joshua Dunbar, which is um, Forest Animal Mandala's coloring book. And I thought this was a very unique one for him. Look at the bear one. That is really cute with the honeycomb. And there's mountain lions in this book. Not very often you find a book with a mountain lion. Yeah, I just opened another one. Look at that one with the foxes. I like it. It um, reminds me of different symmetry books. This one I got from Amazon Japan. It says Love Snoopy. And it's a Peanuts book. Um, has a really nice paper in it. It's kind of a little off-white. And it is full of Snoopy and Peanuts characters. Now it is one of their lesson books that they have. Uh, coloring lesson books so in the front you have these type of things that show you how you can color different ways and techniques the next book I have is this one uh, forgive me I do not know the title of this book but I got it on Amazon Japan and um, it had been in my cart for a while I, I think it's is it fairy tale based I'm not I can't remember but I love how this is single-sided and um, these images are absolutely stunning. Uh, if you need a link to this book, just um, comment in the comment section and I can share with you the link. I think it's absolutely stunning. So I'm excited, excited to color in that. Uh, the next one is this little cute kitty book. Uh, this one is made by the same person that does that little Yuri mouse book. Um, but this one has the kitty in it. And there's the ISBN if you need the ISBN number. But yeah, this, I, I wanted to get it because I just thought it was adorable. I think it has something to do with, um, the cat and her kitchen. But I, like I said, I haven't translated it, so I'm not exactly sure. But there's lots of little elements to a page that you could color in here. And I'm thinking this um, book would do great with uh, polychromos pencils. Next book, Amazon Japan as well, is this one. This is a little rabbit book. Um... Also, the same artist does that little mouse book that we've seen all over. And look at these guys. Aren't these adorable? You could, you could like, you could color a whole page or you could just color elements on a page. And it would just, yeah, looks just so much fun. When I look at it, I just want to dive in and color little bits here and there. Um, there's some stained glass things that you can do you know so fun look at that little pot flower pot house that one's lots of details so i'm so happy that i could get that book the next book is one of my favorites for this haul is it's a winnie the winnie the pooh book disney winnie the pooh book by inko koritayama <laughs> sorry i know i probably said that wrong but I love Winnie the Pooh, and as soon as I knew this came out, I knew as soon as I had an Amazon order from Japan, I would have to order this book. Because, yes, look at that. Christopher Robin and Pooh in the umbrella. So cute. Uh, yeah. I'm a sucker for anything Winnie the Pooh. And this is one of those um, color lesson books as well, so... You have these little colory tutorial things in the front if you want to use them. And then the final one I got from Amazon Japan, I got, it's called Fairy Tale. I got it because it was like either I could get another book or I could pay a lot of money in shipping. So I just decided to add another book. And this one uh, looked of interest to me, so I 
picked it up. I think that's Cinderella. And I love fairy tales. So if it's a fairy tale book, and hey, I'll go for it. The line art is different from page to page. Some is lighter, some is thicker. Uh, yeah. Some fairy tales are only obvious, others are a little harder to depict. Next, I have Lacey Sunshine, Sunshine Trolls Coloring Book, Volume 27. Got this on our regular Amazon. I was feeling Lacey Sunshiny one day, and I thought, oh, I'll pick this one up. I don't have it, and it's adorable. So, of course, I ordered it. I like these books for um, quick coloring or warm-up coloring. They don't take very long to color. The next book I have is the new Mythographic Aviary. I wasn't going to get this because I'm not massive bird lover, but when I saw a flip through of this on somebody's channel, um, I was like, okay, I can get into this. I, yeah, with all the people added to it and other elements and things like that, I was totally digging it and I love Joseph Cattenbang. He's one of my favorite mythographic artists. And so I couldn't say no. I just had to pick it up. Absolutely stunning book. Another stunning book that just was released, Natural Element, or sorry, Natural Enchantment, sorry, by Selena Fennick. Anybody who knows Selena's work, it's absolutely stunning. And throw the fantasy aspect in it, it makes it even ten times more stunning. For me, yeah, this paper can be hard to color on. I just do my best to work with it. There are duplicates in this book. Very, very pretty book. I always check her periodically because she has new releases from time and time. From time and time again. <laughs> Next, I'm going to show you the supplies that I have that I haven't showed, and um, I'm going to start off with these. So these are the Rosa watercolors. Um, I saw these on, oh, I can't remember her channel's name, um, uh, another color tuber's channel. She is new to color tube. I think it's catastrophe, something like that. She said that the Rosa Gallery watercolors were one of her favorites. So I picked up the small set and um, I liked the size of the pans in this. And I'm just showing you up close kind of what the colors are. You can read them when they have numbers on them too. I haven't unwrapped them yet just because um, I haven't had a chance to really play with watercolors for a little while, just because of the chaos in my house. But you can clearly see that they um, say the colors on them and the color number, and it gives you more than enough room to um, use the trays on the side for uh, color mixing and whatnot. Now they do have bigger sets. I just got the smaller set just to try them out and see what I think. If I really enjoy them, maybe later down the line, I will spring for a larger set. But for now, I just have the classic colors. Next little one that I have is a watercolor set as well. It's Zen Art Supplies Soroso, I think, 12 watercolors. Forgive me if I said that wrong. Um, I got this one because I was looking at watercolor sets and I kind of stumbled across this brand. Um, and I'm like, oh, this comes in a tin. I wonder how these are. And then, um, I noticed that, uh, they had like a little ring on the bottom and they kind of reminded me of a Prima watercolor tin. And here's with the little swatch sheet right here. And it has 12 colors, but I noticed they gave me an extra color. Uh, do you see that in the middle? They gave me a, a powder blue for an extra. Maybe it is for a gift. 
um, for ordering their watercolors. I am not sure, but I am happy to get that extra watercolor. And all of these, are, I think, are like skin tone colors. Um, there's a list of the colors. You can read them on the screen. I'm not going to try to pronounce all, all those words, but there's the list if you want to know. And they have different sets. They don't, I think there's four different sets uh, currently. And um, I want to try these out and see what I think. If I really like them, maybe I will get the other sets or work on getting the other sets. And those are these watercolors. Yeah, very excited to try those out and see how they go. I'm going to show you here on the little paper that comes with it, kind of the different sets that you can get. Opening this up. So see how there's four different sets. Uh, Classico, Moderno, Vista, and then the one that I got. So you can see the different colors. So you can kind of have an idea of what you want to get next time. So those will be fun to play with. There was a lightning sale on Amazon on these, the DeVickel um, Acrylic Painter. So it's a paint marker. And um, I clicked on it because it showed the red ones on the sale. And I clicked on it and all of them were on sale. So I decided to pick the red, the black, the pink, the white, and the gold. They also had a silver, but I didn't need any silver. So I just got these. I'm trying to show you what it looks like. And my camera doesn't want to focus. But you can see it says STA acrylic marker. You shake it. You push down. So you do have to pump it. And then after that, you're good to go. I have already done this one, so I can just show you their shine to the gold. And I have tested the pink, and I have tested the white. And the white works really well for a white paint marker. I haven't tested the black or the red yet. But for the deal, hey, you can't beat a deal. So I just picked all these up. Because I like a good deal. <laughs> Speaking of deals, um, this was on a really good deal. These are Arteza 12 gouache sets. Um, I posted this lightning deal when it was happening on my community tab. And if anybody picked them up, I hope you are enjoying them. Um, I got the blossomy tones. So these are like the flowery looking tones. And um, here's the different ones. I do have a question for those that do have gouache in the tubes. Do you let them dry out in a pen or do you use them straight out of the tube when you're working? I also got the, th these ones are the neon tones. I like to play with neons. And I also like to mix neons with other natural colors to give more of a pop. These ones are the C-tones, so I picked up the C-tones, and I also got the portrait tones because of people, and then the last one I picked up was this one, the earth tones. So as you can see, I got quite a few of these gouache things because they were on sale, and when things are on sale, I try to get as many as I can to stock up my supply. Last thing I got, it's going to look really big on camera, were these. So these are the Magic Box um, markers. I'd seen these on Anne from A Colorful Life's channel, and I really liked the box. Um, one of my markers was bad, so I had to throw that one out. But other than that, they are good to go. Sorry, my... Um video cut out so I just put up this picture um, but I want to thank everyone for watching and I'm not sure if those markers yellow but I will let you know on a later date and I hope you guys have a fabulous day happy coloring everyone